passing guard or keeping the guard, playing guard. Coach Phil. Yes, sir. Passing guard, very important. I never want to come in like this with my feet square because my posture is broken. I have no base. I always want to come in with my hips in, okay? And with my hips kind of leading with my shoulders back. And I want to lead with a foot. I always lead with the right foot. What I'm always trying to do is I'm trying to get that foot connected to his inner thigh, okay? To his kind of hamstring right here. I don't want to bend down because he'll grab a collar. And now this is really bad for me, okay? Because it begins to force me to have to use my hands. And I need my hands in order to be able to pass, okay? You have different type of passing. If I'm going through his legs, it's tough because I'm going inside, but his hands are also a big obstacle for me, okay? So there's inside, and then there's outside passing. So you have to figure out at the moment which one is more appropriate for you. But you always lead in with one foot, because maybe here, I go here, and I pass to the outside. Obviously, it's not gonna be that easy. Maybe I go here, and then I go inside, okay? If I go this way, same side as my knee, it's a drop. But one thing that's very important, and Master Carlos always preaches this, okay? And I always talk about this. My hand has got to be protecting my hip and this triangle, where it's the elbow and knee, and kind of wrist and knee, shoulder and hip. Because he, because I can always control here, but he's going to want to get maybe that foot on the hip. Yes, I need to be able to take it off. And I need to be able to drive through, okay? So that I'm always driving through and I'm passing on the inside with a knee drop, okay? From here, if you notice, I didn't let his leg go, okay? Because then I'm gonna get stuck in a half guard with this leg here, okay? Can you hook me with the right leg as a butterfly? No. Nope. No. And right here, I can move this leg out, move this in, and again, we're rolling the hips because we're all about rolling the hips, okay? So if you notice, that was a knee drop. When your knee, goes to the same side as your foot, that's a knee drop. When it goes this way, it's a knee slice. But you have to fight and try to get underhooks. Because if you don't have an underhook, he's got an underhook. But to control that, you control the arm. And look, I have either scarf hold is what we reviewed earlier, or if he begins to kind of shoot an underhook, I have a kiss of Katami right here, okay? So if you notice, those are both inside passes. So what we're gonna talk about is the connection. I wanna step so deep that my shin is driving him and making it uncomfortable here. It's gonna force his leg to go somewhere and he'll get grips. Let's see, he'll get a grip here. Okay. I can get a grip here on his pants. What would you do with your hand? Yes, yeah, yeah. See, he wants, he wants my collar, but it's too high up to reach. If I head him down like this, you pull that head down, and I have to now use my hands. Okay? I'm here. So I need to monitor this leg. A couple things that happen with this leg. It's either going to come across my belly here, or he'll want to put it maybe on my hip. I need to be able to get it up drop my shoulder in the crook of his knee, and now control him here, where I can go either way, okay? But I'm gonna go to the outside now. This is a low pass. Okay, and I'm gonna pass to the outside. So you need to watch, whether you're on your knees or you're on your feet. I'm here, look, I have to walk, knee. Walk, 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 knee. And look, my elbow and knee is to here. If his knee comes across here, look, grab here and I hip into him, my left hand scoops underneath, and I'm gonna keep pulling here, and my shoulder, yes, because I can get here, and I'm here. My right elbow, apply a lot of pressure here, 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 and again, we're rolling the hips. I want to be able to control the hips because that's what side control is, controlling the hips, okay? So what I want you guys to do is 
Play with the high. Go point your head that way. You start at close guard. I got my post. Get, get your hands right. Get here. Get my knee set up here. Look. I'm going to the knee. Drop. And notice how I'm gripping and pulling my elbow to my knee. I am applying pressure here and my foot walks forward and keep applying pressure because this knee here is committed. From here, I apply pressure here. Up down here. And I pull myself. You want to get a good boss grip here, open this up and like a roll. Cool, because I want to get my shoulder and I want to trap it. Okay, can you get your uh, right leg free? Okay, I want to control it moving to my left. Okay, and I don't want to be here like this. It's bad for me. Because he's probably going to put his right hand in the collar. Because it's just right there. That's why here I need to be able to pull here. And I'm going to drive his knee to his forehead. Level up. Okay. From here, two things happen. Either he's going to tap or he's going to let me pass. So here he let me tap. And I rolled it in. Make sense? So you use that boss grip with that thumb in. And look, you still have it here. Okay. And then you can roll the hip, roll the hip, and so forth, okay? So what I want you guys to do, okay, is get that scoop underneath. Walk forward, walk it, even grab right here, and then pull them in, okay? Because here it helps me connect, okay? And look, I'm driving my uh, core stomach into his knee. So it's kind of stuck to here. I crunch down, and look, hip forward, and I'm gonna pass it through here as I'm gonna pull two hands. My elbow has to come to my hip. I don't wanna get stuck here and get triangle. Not good for me, even though it's hard for him to triangle. I'm here, I pull myself. And I ratchet here, and I'm pulling. And I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Cause maybe here, grab that pant leg, and then drive here, and pull them up, or, and still roll. Put that in the bang. Yeah. Make sense, guys? Scoop it. I want your shoulder to be on the bottom of his knee. Okay? So as you scoop here, look, I reach back for me and I pull it in. Here. As I scoop here, I drop it. Here. Okay? Because I want this on my shoulder. Okay? Because it makes it harder for him to push away. Close to here, because here he can still bend it. You know, here it's mine. Here, my left hand comes in, and I'm pulling myself in with all that weight. I see. Push it through, keep that boss grip, and roll the hip. Okay, guys, make sense? Let's do it. One, two, three. Oh, go with the. Nick. Nice. 